Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. A big day not only for places like New York City and Chicago, but everywhere. Guess what? Snow's receding. It's springtime. So, hey, we got to have a party. Who says Latinos can't have a happy St. Patrick's Day? Like me, you know? We got the other North Country Latino here for another exciting episode and another beautiful day to make some food for you. Anyways, St. Patrick's Day is for just about everybody the way, you know, certain parades and desfiles in June and August are for everybody. And there are many famous Latino Irish. I don't know how you say that in Spanish. Irish Latinos or whatever. But anyways, there are a number of people around today, like Elizabeth Vargas, who's on ABC News, part Latino, part Irish. The author, Judith Ortiz Coffer, part Latino, part Irish. Of course, the famous music, um, Latin music, arranger, Chico O'Farrell, you know, part Latino, part Irish. And of course, I have my famous favorites, the famous Tite O'Nieves. Tite O Puente, Tite O Rodriguez, and Tommy O Livencia, you know. Anyways, from Puerto Rico. Well, and that's a terrible joke, I know. Well, today, we're going to make not an Irish feast, but a Mexican feast out of my famous book here. And it's called The Sao a la Quina e la Yuda. Yeah, I know. Say that again. The Sao a la Quina e la Yuda, which is basically a Oaxacan recipe for beef in the tomato sauce on tortillas. Now, why am I making that this time of year? Well, I think of Oaxaca this time of year because, of course, it is Cuaresma. And I think of Oaxaca because of all the famous processions that go on in Oaxaca, in Mexico, at the end of Cuaresma, at Semana uh, Santo, and Viernes Santo, and Nueve Santo, and, of course, up until Pascuas. And so I make this Oaxacan recipe because it's nice and simple, and it's festive. It's on tortillas. So that's today's episode of Miguel Tiro de Nuevo Escarilla Latino. All right, well, we got our boiling pot going already here. Cast the characters, about three or four chipotle peppers. Also, a tomato sliced up nice and good, and an onion, and about, oh, I put in two tablespoons of minced garlic into a quart of water, and that's got to boil for about 20, 25 minutes. That's your sauce, folks. That's the tomato sauce. Now, let's see what our cast of characters are for the meat. We got a nice pan with that free cooking spray already preheated. And we're going to throw in some beautiful, nice, thin, lean sandwich steak. And I'm going to salute my friend Rachel White again. Because guess what? I want another prize off the Digital Latina. She's so awesome. This time... A nice free bag of Tyson grilled and ready meat. You can get a chicken, and this is steak. So since this has been in the fridge the whole time, I'm going to put it in with my skirt steak, and that way it can warm up and get all good together to go in with the meat. we got one other thing going on over here. Once that pot is boiled, you're going to throw the onion from the pot and some of the garlic in with another raw onion and some more garlic, because you're going to have your minced garlic here ready to go. So... All this is going to happen right now with the meat. I'm going to put that on. Start in with Rachel's awesome special. These are nice little chopped meats to have if you want to make fajitas or something si small and simple. Maybe a little stir fry if you don't want to do something with tortillas. And of course we're going to add the other meat so you're going to cook that up really good on the hot stove. And that's going to go in your tortillas. I noticed from a lot of recipes, Mark Oaxaca, they like their um, small stir steaks and stuff like that. It's very good. Delicious. Delicioso, folks. All right, now in the blender, after they've been boiled up and cooled a little bit, you put in the tomatoes and the cooked onions and maybe a couple of chipotles and the garlic and then you add those raw onion slices that you had and of course you're going to put with it just a little bit more garlic add to it so you open up your jar again and you add a little bit more of the garlic cloves 
This is going to be your saw. Top off that blender. And let it go into a paste. And that's going to be your sauce to go on. Awesome. Look at that. Mmm. Nice and tender. Yum. Yum. They're done, too. So you let those kind of stay under some covered low heat for a bit. You can turn the heat off, actually, and let them stay covered. Awesome, tender, juicy, and lean. The good stuff, huh? Oh, well, we are ready. There's the salsa. There's the meat. There's the awesome whole wheat tortillas. And look what I made. Some of the awesome guacamole that, of course, we had on the show before. So we're going to dish it. So we'll take a little bit of everything here and pile it on. Take some of the meat. We're going to top it with the salsa. Miss Mooner. And the guacamole. Isn't that awesome? Hey okay, Rico. The guacamole has a little St. Patrick's touch in it, hey? Well hey everybody. It's time to eat. It's time to fiesta. And this is Miguel Tio of the North Country Latino saying. Enjoy St. Patty's Day for what it is, a beautiful day to party with your fellow man, your fellow woman, and everybody in your life. Enjoy spring. It's coming on. My next episode is going to be a little bit of a Lent recipe, cachapas from Venezuela. Mm -mm -mm. Happy Patty's Day, everybody. Happy spring. Well, there we go. We got everything dished up. Doesn't that look awesome? Mm mm mm. Oaxacan beef with tomato sauce. Oh my goodness. And guacamole to make it green on the top. What an awesome way for St. Patrick's Day to begin around here. And I had one more Irish Latino. Howie Durrell from the Backstreet Boys. Remember him back in the 90s? Well, hey, this is Miguel Dio, the North Country Latino saying, Feliz St. Patricio! Time to eat!